There's a pretty funny one that we went through a little bit of uh, the astrology female. There, so female dating strategy. Danny was going yeah, through this the ones, a bit. They're the ones who burned me on my tweet. They're 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 the ones that burn you. So now the, you're on my, them. They burn yeah, you. Yeah, you, yeah. Burn, you burn us. We you don't burn us. We burn you. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because they use all the terminology too of like pickup artists. Like oh right, all, they're like they're the they are female kind of like they they use the term. Um, the, their big thing is low, low value low, male. Low, low value <laughs> they male. like calling people low value male. Yeah, low value, high value. Well, so high they posted male, this thing. Uh, this lady posted. She goes, "Astrology is one of the few areas men can usually not mansplain to you, which is why so many low value men hate it. <laughs> if astrology is something you're passionate about, it shouldn't be any different from any other hobby. So asking a question as harmless as what's your zodiac sign should be just that." However, this doesn't apply to LVMs. Many LVMs very openly hate astrology. I don't know anybody who openly <laughs> hates. I've never met every guy we know. They're like, roll your eyes at astrology. Nobody's just like, they don't like rolling yeah, your eyes at it. Yeah, but nobody guys like, let me tell you how I feel about a fucking astrology. Well, they said that because you think your oh so intelligent <laughs> selves are way above it and may even laugh in the face or uh, to are daring them to ask such stupid questions. So a man's reaction to you asking a house such an insignificant sing will speak volumes on his character and how misogynistic he is. So basically they're saying how you respond to their astrology questions. It so, makes you a misogynist. So he, That's like such an interesting thing where it's like you can't just be like, this is stupid. But like that instantly makes you a misogynist just because it's a guy saying it to a woman. Like what if a gay guy says... What if you say it to a gay guy goes, that's stupid. It's still misogyny? It's still misogyny no matter what. Yeah. Well, they're admitting that like uh, astrology is for chicks, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. Of course it is. My buddy had a thing where he goes at his workplace, the girls wanted to get the um, everyone's signs and everything. And they were telling him. And he gave, the, so the one girl, he had her, uh, the two or three girls, and they were all telling him all his things. And they were like, they were like, oh, I knew you were that because you're this, you're this, you're this. And they went on forever. And then after, after he, they did, did their whole half hour thing, he said, yeah, I gave you my wrong date. <laughs> 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 they had it all figured out. They go, of course you are. And then this makes are. perfect sense. They had everything. Yeah, yeah. But basically, you could do that. You tell whatever you tell a girl, she'll go, that makes perfect okay, sense. Yeah, okay. It'll always make perfect sense. Uh -huh. Always. <laughs> always. I love also, by the way, how much female dating strategy they just fucking hate men oh they hate men oh my god like this is one of the answers to this thing one of the comments was anything you genuinely enjoy is a damn vet which i don't know what that means vet but, but she says because men hate when we're happy and absorbed in something that's not them <laughs> selfish pricks she's just like hate <laughs> do you think that's what happens when a girl's into astrology you you go you're fucking not and you're talking to something that isn't me it's like, I like the complete I like opposite every guy is ecstatic when his girl has some any sort of hobby holy <laughs> fuck yes like i totally agree you're like, you yes. kidding me that i'm mad when you were going and looking at your astrology things it's like well no as as uh, demonstrated by this, it's like, no, we don't like it when we have to be involved now. You're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. men just hate it when something doesn't involve them. It's like, yeah, it's your like, whole question is about you forcing us to do it. Yeah, just don't drag us to a fucking astrology conference in like <laughs> New Mexico or some bullshit. Also, there is like, there is like real reasons for like a lot of astrology stuff. Like even... Um, you know, this, like Malcolm, you know the outliers, Malcolm Gladwell or whatever, yeah. where that uh, people that were born in the first part of the year are way more likely to be successful and all that stuff. Yeah. And it was like, so they're like, you know, people that are born in this month, they're more this and this and this. You're like, or it's because they're 11 months older than some of the people in the class. And like a lot of that happens. Yeah. So there is like, there's so much real stuff that does it. You go, you go, I wonder why this guy's more confident. At th generally, it's like, well, because they're the biggest kid in the class and they had like a, a six month head start on a lot of people. It's like, no, it's probably the moon. Yeah, it's probably the moon <laughs> cycles. Right? Like, there is real reasons why a lot of this stuff. Yeah. This one also devolved into one person um, uh, said, yeah, this is too damn accurate. This is about the astrology sign, but then it just devolves into their hatred of men and stuff men do, like, very quickly. So goes, this is too damn accurate. Most of the time, if a guy mentions some smart-ass indie movie to sound unique and I know of it, he won't discuss it. It's painfully obvious they don't even like the movie or they only know of the details around it, but it hates talking about the movie itself. We may need to bully men for their hobbies more often. 
And then it's just everybody's like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 like the movies. Oh my God, guys with their movies. And they're like, <laughs> so guys fun. pretending they like movies and they don't know <laughs> movies and they just like shitty. And you're like, okay. Yeah, you go, I like Evil Dead. And the girl goes, oh, I like Evil Dead. You go, forget I said it. I don't like it. <laughs> but it's like, you can And she goes, like, oh, I like Evil Dead. What was your favorite one? You go, nothing. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this like really opened up a thing where I guess there's a lot of guys who are like, this is a point of contention with women where guys are like, yeah, I'm really into indie movies. And they're like, have you seen this? And the guy's like, yeah, I did didn't like it and they go you didn't fucking see it yeah you fucking you liar you fucking lying piece of shit they said uh if astrology oh no oh, so they go a men's reaction um will speak volumes and red flags to look out for include getting angry yeah so that's a funny one she goes she goes what's your sign and you go <laughs> smash the that's... table you smash your beer bottle and yeah. you go what the fuck <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, oh, are you a Sagittarius? And we go, you, uh, what the fuck did I tell you about fucking ever bringing up astrology signs to me? You want to fucking end up like your you fucking, fucking sister? <laughs> that's, that's the first one that they don't yep. like? Nope. And then the second one is you, a red flag is if dudes say, do you actually believe that? Any variation of this. So... That's a, the only thing that's not good is you go, that's so interesting. Tell yeah, me more. Tell me more about astrology. <laughs> that's the only thing Can you're allowed. Can you do me? <laughs> do me, please. Can you do me? <laughs> do, do me, do me, do me. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so do you, if you say, do you actually believe that, um, calling astrology stupid or indirectly calling you stupid, low value male, if you do that. Also, like, most guys probably on a date, if a girl's like, oh, I'm in astrology, you go, what are you fucking retarded? Like, no one... <laughs> Yeah, most guys. I mean, go, by the way, if you ask a girl what she's into, and the first thing out of her mouth is astrology before anything else, that is a huge red flag. Yes, but also you, want, you want that to be like the sixth. Thing. Have you not noticed that every girl's into this? Yeah, they all are. My girl's actually not into astrology. Yeah, I think you're wrong about that. She's dude. more into like the stupid. She tells you she's not into it, and then she's, she's more doing... into those dumbass gems and stuff. Yeah, which same is like shit. I, I feel like that's a branch of astrology, but like I don't ever. Hear I bet it you she's into it more than you think. Maybe I bet you she's. It's, it's literally never come up. I've never heard her talk about astrology. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, most I, people. I would know because I I, I I would belittle her for her dumb hobby. Well, that's why she doesn't want to talk to you. She just knows she's dating a low value male. She's she's one of the a commenters. Scrot. That's another one they call <laughs> guys. They call guys scrot. Scrot. <laughs> They have their words that they use in one of those. They like to call guys scrot. Scrot. <laughs> Screw them. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> Screw it. Okay, so saying that you're one of those girls, that's yeah. another one thing a low value male the guy does. <laughs> oh, you're one of those girls. I'm like, one of those girls. Uh, that I sort of agree with where they say, well, you're not one of those girls. That's all girls. I know that your girl is keeping it from you because yeah, she's, maybe. you're a low value male. <laughs> she knows how you're going to screw She knows you're a screw uh, I'm a man. I'm not into that. That's another red flag, which is more than fair. Yeah. For you to go, yeah, that's girl stuff. I'm a man. That's more than fair. <laughs> yeah, it's not, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with you being into it, but it's clearly a girl. I mean, first off, a lot of these things, if a guy doesn't say it, he's thinking it. He might not say it. Yeah. He's thinking a lot of these things. Well, Almost low value every, males say it. Yeah, low value males say what they th what they think. They, they want to live in a dream males. world where you go, that, that's where you go. They, they want the guys to be thinking this, but out loud they're saying like, and but wait a second, so what's a Gemini then? <laughs> <laughs> you have to be invested. <laughs> Uh, telling you something, some mockery sign such as I'm an asparagus. So that's that would be a bad funny. joke. That's a, that's a dad joke. You like that one? But it's like a nice dad joke. You like that one? Well, I'm an asparagus. So Danny's not doing good on this low value mail. No, test. I'm very low value mail. I, th I feel like that'd be a pretty crappy if your girl goes, Oh, what's your sign? And you said, I'm an asparagus. So that did it for Danny. <laughs> 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 Boomer Dan. I literally texted that person. Boomer I go, Dan. I texted that. I go, can I use that? Okay, <laughs> use that. DM. There are many ladies who love astrology and many who don't. Both are great. This post is not to say anything bad about astrology itself, but rather to give you a way that you could use it as a topic of conversation to filter out LVMs. That's so... Just the idea that like you don't even have to be into it. It's just you're bringing up astrology with guys. Just make sure that they're not the type of guy that's not into that. But yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. into it. It is interesting it's too. Pathological. This kind of shit. Yeah, oh, for sure. And it's interesting how they ascribe 
like less desirable men because like I, I mean obviously like men are like we just give them a, a one out of ten and, and it's purely just looks and then they yeah. are like they're like actually like just they 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 don't even do a scale they're just like it's kind of like there's <laughs> high value low value <laughs> yeah 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 you're on or off yeah you're on or off it's one or zero or one well fucking all the low value males out there no, fucking don't I mean, listen they're, to they're this bullshit listen, they're not listening to this. You know, the low this value... Is high, this is a high value... Well, they're, good, they're putting this out there where you go, okay, so if a girl starts asking you about astrology, lie to her and then fuck her. And then when, you, then when you're finally about to come, you whisper in her ear, I'm a low value male. <laughs> Trick you. Our kids are going to be low value too. <laughs> you know what's an interesting I thing just with the female dating? Guess what? I'm a low value man. With the female dating strategies, they're putting the playbook online. So I it's know. like, you know, if you're really a guy. That's why we're here to fucking let the people know yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on with this. Yeah. So if you're in the dating game, I check out female dating strategies. Also, on their Reddit playbook is no of, surprises. Yeah. It literally, it's exactly what you think. You like, go. girls think they like, have these hot tips. Like, yeah. And you, every one of them, you go, yeah, that sounds, that's the kind of bullshit we thought you were my up to. My favorite one is, <laughs> what, but one of my favorite ones on this thing too which is like comes uh, like so often that you see people say you go you know what sometimes guys act really nice with us n- nice to us just because they want to fuck us <laughs> yeah and then when we and then when we won't we make it clear that we don't want to have sex with them they stop acting nice to us. <laughs> yeah they have yeah. a lot of that kind of stuff go, yeah i've seen it it's not even that they stop acting nice to you they go they're like yeah the, the guys just treat you like another person like once they no longer want sex from you, then they go, okay, I'm just going to treat you like anybody else. Well, no, and, but, because but they, getting treated like anybody else is like, they're like, how fucking dare you? Because every other guy has been treating them like they want to fuck him. So they're exactly. like, they're like, well, no, a normal person treats me like this. It's like, no, a no yeah. you're hot and a normal person's trying to fuck you. Yeah, exactly. And then you're like, yeah, we're just treating you like one of the guys. Is that what we, we want? Didn't Or they'll have things where they'll be like, you ever notice that men only value your looks where like kind of the same thing, but they'll say like, whereas all of a sudden when a girl's hot, he's nicer to her. Yeah. And then they're like, they have these like big revelations. Yeah, like, know. can you believe like, can- do you, ever, you ever notice that? And people will be like, I did notice that <laughs> I know men are hot, nicer to hot chicks. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with that? What's up with that? What's Is up that- with that? What's up with that? <laughs>